Good morning, this is Marsha Kranz at the National Weather Service in Sullivan. I'm going to talk about the severe thunderstorm potential for the overnight hours. We're expecting storms to track through south central Wisconsin and potentially southeast Wisconsin overnight. This line of storms that we're thinking about may produce damaging wind during the overnight hours, primarily between midnight and 6 a.m. These straight line winds could cause damage to trees and power lines and then cause power outages. This is a loop of the potential storm evolution for the overnight hours. Storms may develop in central Minnesota and then track southeast through south central Wisconsin. Now keep in mind, this is one model. This is the Wharf ARW and uh, several other models give different depictions. So know that there is still some uncertainty with how the storms are gonna evolve tonight and where they're going to track. And that's why we keep saying southeast Wisconsin potentially could get uh, this line of storms as well. The Storm Prediction Center has south central Wisconsin in a slight risk for severe storms and southeast Wisconsin in a marginal risk for severe storms. The enhanced risk is just off to our west. What does that mean? It means that we could see isolated to scattered severe storm reports, including uh, strong winds, wind damage, and even some one inch hail. Highlighting the hail risk, you can see the higher risk is in the yellow with the lower risk for hail in the brown on the left. And then on the right is our risk for damaging wind. You can see damaging wind is the higher threat for the storm system we're expecting overnight. Now this rain forecast covers the span of three days from tonight all the way into Saturday morning. So this lumps basically two events together. The tonight, uh, the tonight round of storms is expected to move pretty quickly, so a half inch to maybe an inch of rain is possible. And then Friday into Saturday, that's when we're watching for repeated rounds of thunderstorms in southern Wisconsin, and that could add up to substantially more precipitation. So keep our eyes open for that. So for the overnight hours tonight, between midnight and six, we're looking for a risk for damaging winds across south central and potentially southeast Wisconsin. Keep up with the latest forecasts and thank you for listening.